Hello, welcome back to Bruce Lee, the impossible, uh, impossible white dot room of death. Here we go. Ah! I wanted to turn unlimited falls on so I could beat this, but... Huh. It didn't work. I don't know why not. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh. All right, I basically beat it now. You know how many hours I spent on that level when I was a kid? Way too many to count. Like, not even dozens, probably over a hundred, until I... Oh, no, no, no. Until I... No, 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 no. Don't die here, please. No, no. This is stupid. Until I took the sequence to heart. <laughs> Sorry about the interruption. They can kill you with a couple hits. And prepare yourself. Oh, gee. And once I finally had that room memorized, I came to this one. Pixels are very important. It could mean the difference between life and death. This is such great level design, I love it. Look how quick he goes. Gotta be careful. This is ridiculous. <sighs> go, 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 go. Drop, drop, drop. Drop faster. Gravity should be accelerating him, but he falls at a constant rate. Alright, we got this. Maybe I don't. <laughs> oh, boss, boss, boss. Guess how you beat the boss. You, uh, you grabbed the lantern. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, right? So. That is Bruce Lee. I hope you enjoyed it. I only died once. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't die. I don't remember. Yeah, there's one stupid death on the razors. That's it. Oh. Now you get a hard mode, but the only real difference is the green guy appears instantly. So, it's nice that there's a reward, but it's a pretty lame reward. Okay, hope you enjoyed Bruce Lee for the Commodore 64. Check it out for yourself. How do you do so? Well, Google is your friend. See ya.